Uh, dear students, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, welcome back to our third session of electronic learning. Ahlan wa sahlan bikum fi darasna thalith min al-dhurus al-elektroniya. Today's lesson come from, uh, today's lesson comes from page six. It is again about technology. Uh, we have a new vocabulary we need to learn. Uh, we, le we need to practice and to use. اليوم درسنا من صفحة ستة برضو أيضا على التكنولوجي ومحتاجين نتعرف على نيو فوكابيولاري كلمات جديدة and to use it perfectly not, not just to memorize but also to use بدنا نحاول نستخدمها but before starting the lesson let me introduce to you your classmates the brilliant classmates خلينا أقدم الأبطال the heroes, the fighters of uh, your classmates. أقدم زملائكم الذين did a lot of efforts, عملوا كثير من الجهود and share us using Google Classroom, WhatsApp, and many, many uh, apps to deliver their homeworks and uh, exercises. مجاهد أبو حمودة the best one. Husayya Boudin, Yusuf Basale, Amir Abu Azizi, and sorry Amir, I guess I wrote your name wrong on WhatsApp. I wrote it Raid, but it is Amir. And I guess you are Prince, just like your name. Umar uh, Thabit, wa Taysir Mahanna wa Ahmed Al-Aklouk, Faisal Baroud, Adam Sos, wa Yusuf Abu Tawahid. But please let me draw your attention that Faisal, Adam, Yusuf, you did your quiz that's right but you did nothing about the homeworks and the exercises please do more forts Faisal Adam Yusuf انتم حليتم الاكسرسايز الصحيح لك الكويز الصحيح لكن لم تتعاملوا مع الواجب ولا مع الاكسرسايزز please do more do more this is for your benefits not for mine أرجوكم اعملوا جهد أكثر هذا لصالحكم أنا مش هستفيد منه أنا فائدتي الوحيدة إنه أنتم تتعلموا شيء جديد. Whether it is belong to your uh, belong directly to your education or uh, indirectly ممكن يكون التعليم غير مباشر ل يعني نتعلم إشي جديد في مهارات استخدام الكمبيوتر هذا شيء ممتاز نتعلم شيء جديد في اللغة الإنجليزية ممتاز أكثر لذلك يا فيصل وآدم ويوسف أرجوكم تعاونوا معي أكثر في العمل بالنسبة regarding to those who, who did nothing at all هناك من لم يعمل أصلا I invite you again please my son my friend do anything that lets me help you to pass this uh, disaster خلينا نشتغل مع بعض عشان نعدي هاي الأزمة الكبيرة okay now, after thanking, let me uh, start our lesson. Okay, be attention, please. Uh, when I need you to use your ear, your ears carefully, your eyes, and try to guess the meaning of the words. I wrote just two Arabic words. And about the other, I need you by yourself to guess the meaning of it. How will you the meaning using the pictures, uh, using the contexts, uh, and try to guess the meaning? Uh, the words come from page six uh, from your book. Okay, now let's start. Okay, go ahead. Century. Children. Decade. Hang, large, life, program. Okay, six new vocabulary or new words. Century, century, and I guess century equal 100 years. 100 years. Century, century, 100 years. Children. Children, it is a plural noun, اسم جمع, and the singular is a child, child, and it means kids. Decade, decade, 
the kid equal 10 years but if century equal a uh, hundred years and the kid 10 years how many decades do century include how many decades do century include okay think about it okay hang hang now in this picture you can see that two people two uh, men uh, are trying to hang a tv اسبعملو مش بيحاولوا يعلقوا تلفزيون hang okay now there are there is two uh, elephants one of them is large this is the large one this is the large and this is the small one large and the small large and the small large elephant the small elephant okay life 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 and program program Let's move now to the next. Okay, we have word formation. How to form a word from another word. The word formation, يا شباب, هو تشتقاء كلمة جديدة من كلمة موجودة أصلا. So we have life, lives, and live. Life, lives, and live. Okay, what about the word life كلمة life life means the period between birth and death life means the period between birth and death الفترة ما بين حياة ولادتنا وموتنا ماذا تسمى نعم yes right الحياة it is a noun life يا اسم it may used as a subject or object ممكن نقول life is short here is it is a subject Okay, let's have example. Lives too short to worry about money. And as you see in the picture, life is a singular noun. كلمة life هي كلمة مفردة. And what is the plural? Thank you very much. You are right. The plural is the plural is lives. Lives. حيوات. Lives. Lives. What about the other word? Live. Live, as you see, is a verb. It has two meanings. Live is a verb which has two meanings. And live. Here, please, again. Life, lives. Life, lives. And live. 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 Okay? Live. Ha has two meanings one to have a life ah, live means to have a life كلمة live بتعني أن تملك حياة يعني حي يتنفس يعيش or to have your home somewhere أو إنك أنت إلك بيت في مكان معين يعني المعنى الأول to have a life You are not dead. أنت مش ميت. أنت عايش. المعنى الثاني أن تتسكن. Okay. Live, live is a verb. Live is a verb. Okay. Let's cite two examples. He only lived a few days after the accident. هو عاش يومين بعد الحادثة. إذا هنا lived, lived بمعنى بمعنى he is not die. هو he is not died هو مش ميت هذا معناها ايش؟ هو مش ميت not dead okay lived بمعنى انه not dead where do you live where do you live هنا معناها تسكن where do you live okay live please please be careful and give me all of your attention انتبهوا علي كويس live is a verb used with كلمة live هي فعل بنستخدمها مع I we You, they, and the plural nouns. I live in Deir el-Balah. You live in Nusayrat. We live in Deir el-Balah camp. Okay? Lives, lives. انتبهوا على الكتابة. هي lives. وانتبه هذا ايش? Lives. Lives is a verb used with he, she, it, and singular nouns. إذا أنا ما بقول 
هي ليف انا بقول هي ليفز ما بقول شي ليف بقول شي ليفز ات ليفز فانتبه انه هذه ليفز اند هذه لايفز اوكي ناو وي نيد تو ليسن تو ا شورت باراجراف ا شورت باسج ذن وي نيد تو انسر ذا فيرست كويستشن The first question, the question is, you need to choose the best title for the passage. So you need to hear it carefully, carefully, and decide what is the best title for the passage. هنسمع الفقرة ونقرر ما هو أفضل عنوان لهذه الفقرة. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Technology has changed how we live. Today, large, thin TVs hang on walls. Computers sit on desks at home, school and work, and in many other places. In cars, a box can speak to the driver to tell him where to go. We can use our mobile phones to listen to music, take photos, watch TV or films, use the internet, and to send text messages to each other. Oh yes, and talk to people. So what about the future? How will technology change the life of children? One thing we can be sure about, there will be many more computers. Schools use computers now, but in the next decades, they will use them more and more. Some people say all children will have one on their desk, or perhaps they will take a small laptop with them all day. And what about next century? Some scientists say there will be no schools. Children will stay at home and have their lessons on computers. Teachers will not teach. They will only program the computers. Okay, now let me read. Technology has changed how we live. Today, large thin TVs hang on walls. Computers sit on desks at home, school and work and in many other places. In cars, a box can speak to the driver to tell him where to go. We can use our mobile phones to listen to music, take photos, watch TV or films, use the internet and to send text messages to each other. Oh yes, and talk to people. So what about the future? How will technology change the life of children? One thing we can be sure about, there will be many more computers. Schools use computers now, but in the next de decades, they will use them more and more. Some people say all children will have one on their desk or perhaps they will take a small laptop with them all day. And what about next century? Some science say there will be no schools. Children will stay at home and have their lessons on computers. Teachers will not teach. They will only program the computers. Okay, I have a question. And I need you all to answer it on your notebook. عندي سؤال وبتمنى عليكم تجاوبوني عليه على دفاتركم وتصوروها وتحملوا لي إياها على الجوجل كلاس روم وتوعوني إياها في الصف السؤال. There are three highlighted words. في ثلاث كلمات معلم عليهم أنا بالأصفر. Him, they, and they. Please write down one him. اكتب على دفترك واحد him. And then two columns نقطتين. وحط لي حط لي the word him refers to what كلمة him إيش معناها لا إيش بتأشر two they the word they refers to what and three the word they refers to what
after that, please do this exercise. Write this exercise on your notebook and do it, please. Please have a, a good photo for this exercise and uploaded it to Google Classroom. Let me uh, see it on uh, our next class, inshallah. So, after reading the passage, please fill the blanket with appropriate word from the passage. من البسج اختار لي كلمات مناسبة وحطهم في هذا الموضوع. The meaning of ten decades. The meaning of ten decades. There is us here. There is a missed us. في أس مفقودة هني جماعة بالخطأ. فيهم for ten decades. بدك تعطيني معنى كلم كلمتين دول اسمهم ten decades. شو معناهم? Television. The meaning of television. The opposite of small. The opposite of adult. Three words refer to social environment. بدك تكتب لي ثلاث كلمات تشير إلى social environment. Three benefits of using mobile phones. Three benefits of using mobile phones. And please, some scientists say there will be no schools. The children will stay at home and have the lessons in computers. Do you agree? Do you agree with the writer? Okay, write yes or no and justify your answer. أنت موافق على هذا الكلام؟ بعض العلماء يقولون بأن لن تعود هناك مدارس وسيتعلم الطلاب من خلال الكمبيوتر. هل متوافق على ذلك؟ اكتب yes or no and justify. قل ليش؟ Here is your homework. Please write. Uh, if you have the paper, إذا معك الورق اكتبوا جاوبوني على هذا السؤال. But most of all, most of all, إذا معكوش الورق أنا إن شاء الله بس ألتقيكم هعطيكم الورق. يعني أعطيكم نسخة ورقية تقدروا تتابعوا من خلالها تصلح تحلوا منها. يعني ما تكتبوا هذا التمرين على الدفتر ما تكتبوه. لكن أنا هعطيكم ورقة تحلوا عليه هذا التمرين. But this exercise هذا التمرين. Read the passage aloud. Read the passage aloud. بديك تقرأ الفقرة. وتسجل صوتك وانت بتقرأها هتلاقي مساحة على جوجل درايف مكتوب عليها تسجيل صوتي أرجوك أرفق التسجيل الصوتي تبعك حابب أسمعك كيف بتقرأ and I give you marks عليهم خمس درجات التسجيل الصوتي عليه خمس درجات and now the time of saying goodbye and thank you